Hello fellow gamers, this is your boy Zero Inc, and I'm here with another Kickshot Angle discussion. Now today I wanted to talk about indie games, and more specifically, why indie games are so important for the gaming community right now. And really, there's only one real main reason. I mean, indie games are cheaper, indie games will last you longer, indie games don't deal with microtransactions, indie games are, are less to make, so more of them are coming out. There's still only one reason why indie games are more important than ever. And that's the fact that they add variety to an oversaturated market of FPSs, third-person action games, sports games, and fighting games. That is what we get in North America. We get the same types of games over and over and over again. We get sequels, we get the same types of games over and over again. We get FPSs, we get live action third person games, we get stuff like that. We don't get JRPGs. We don't get RPGs really all that much anymore. We don't get games that should be over here. Because a lot of gamers don't embrace the variety. Indie games provide puzzles, they provide strategy, some of them are RPGs, some of them are like old school Mario. And you gotta play through it and beat it all the way through without dying. Spelunky's a perfect example of that. Mercenary Kings was great. Dust has everything that a next gen game should have. Dynamic weather, everything is voice acted all the way down to the min most m minuscule character. The storyline is a storyline you wouldn't expect. And it has a great twist in it. And the ending is satisfying. Gameplay is fun. It's live action. But because it's 2D, it's an indie game. Oddworld, same thing, is great game. But it's an indie game. Resogun is an amazing game. Some of these indie games have stories, some of them don't. Some of them you have to read the stories. You actually have, you know, like old school where you have to read the text. Some of them don't. But at least indie titles are still doing what they want to do. They're still making the games they want to make. AAA titles are a little different now. You have to put out something that you know the consumers are going to buy. Because if you put... 50 million dollars into a project you want to make that 50 million dollars back so you get uncharted 4 so you get halo 5 xbox and playstation have more games to play than anybody on youtube has given them credit for well maybe not anybody there's there are some that are good like total biscuit modern war negro and a couple others but a lot of the new channels coming out and a lot of the pro channels do not give credit where credit's due. PlayStation has 140 plus titles. Xbox has a lot of titles itself, like 80 or 90 or something like that. Nintendo has tons of titles. We should embrace Namco Bandai bringing games over here. We should embrace Atari bringing games over here. We should embrace some of the old school Japanese developers. We should embrace these games. We shouldn't be stomping them out. Don't listen. And, and it's funny because a lot of YouTube channels are doing just that. They're saying indie games do not matter. When you give the argument which system is better and you don't even include the indie games, you're basically saying that indie games do not matter. And you're right. To the average gamer, to the casual gamer, indie games do not matter. But to the hardcore core gamers, indie games matter triple a titles handhold through the whole game most of them and actually alien I isolation is is good about that they don't handhold evil within doesn't handhold and what did people do because it's hard they gave it a bad review and you're seeing this more and more with gamers they're going oh it's too hard i'm gonna give it a bad review Rather than going back to the roots and going, you know what, I'm a gamer. And no matter how hard it is, I'm going to beat this game. And I'm going to get every little thing I possibly can. Indie games are important because they add that variety. 
they allow different types of games. They allow ideas that are outside of the box, which AAA titles just can't now because they're too expensive. Some AAA titles on a rare occurrence will think outside the box. Like Sunset Overdrive is a perfect example. Bloodborne is a, is a perfect example. But Bloodborne is playing to all the Demon Souls fans. So even their calculated risks. Insomniac Games is playing to Insomniac people. People who like Insomniac Games is going to like Sunset Overdrive. People who like Ratchet and Clank are going to like Sunset Overdrive. People who like Spyro are going to like it. AAA titles play to mainstream, whereas indie titles play to your hardcore gamer, your core gamer, your, your guy who plays absolutely everything. The indie titles are basically saving gaming right now because of how odd they are, because of how different they are. Different, odd, out there is interesting. This is what has always made gaming interesting, and this is why indie titles are so important because they do what AAA titles just can't right now. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think indie games are good for gaming? Do you think they're bad for gaming? Do you think they're helping the gaming industry? Do you think they're saving the gaming industry? Let me know in the comments section below. This is Zero, and I will see you guys next time.